Hey guys, it's Howie, Nurse Howie here, and I'm just checking in, letting you guys know how I'm doing. So far, we just started the new semester. Now I'm taking a full course load of advanced pathophysiology and advanced pharmacokinetics. No, I'm sorry, advanced pharmacology for my nurse practitioner program. This is going to be my third semester, and it's going to be the last semester I'll be taking with this campus as I switch on over to go into the psych nurse practitioner cohort. So. At this time and point, everybody's already starting to finish up their general required classes as a nurse practitioner. And now, um, my classmates, uh, the ones that I started with uh, in the undergrad as a pre-licensed RN, and also some other classmates of mine that have been working as nurses for as long as 25 years to as little as um, once two years, we have all finished most of our uh, basic courses and now we've decided on what specialty we want to choose so I've obviously chosen psychiatric nurse practitioner but some of most of the other classmates that I've had have chosen family nurse practitioner um, as their specialty um, of course there's also a slew of other practitioners Practitioners that you can do as a nurse practitioner. You can do um, pediatrics or acute care nurse practitioner or gerontologic nurse practitioner. Um, it's a bunch of them. Everything in nursing, there's always a choice. What I don't have a choice with though is that um, uh, when I studied today, today's a Saturday, um, I don't mind studying um, all day uh, on, the, on the cafe for like eight to ten hours. Uh, even if it's on a weekend because as long as I don't have a, a job or a shift tonight or um, in the morning, I'm fine. You know, it's just like as if I was just sitting in a cafe um, reading the newspaper or talking to a friend. Or It does get a little bit lonely though. It does get a little bit lonely and I do wish that I had a job because um, even though my class classwork is pretty full, um, it would help if I was a working RN um, getting a salary so I can help pay off my student loans and um, pay off some other stuff as well. Um, but then I also like being a student because I've worked as an LVN for almost 15 years so I'm used to working while I'm going to school but it's finally nice to have just a time to just work on school and just study and I, maybe I should have done that instead of working because I probably would have gotten like a 4.3 because everybody's getting good grades um, in order to, to get ahead because we have so much competition in California you know I'm so glad I'm very thankful that I got my RN license and I wasn't I didn't really I've forgotten what that felt like um, because the initial novelty of getting my license had kind of disappeared now, now that it's been about a month but um, I was looking through my iPad and I saw that the Safari tab was on my NCLEX study guide website and I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy uh, that I don't have to study that anymore. And, um, but I do need to still brush up on my basic nursing skills because I found out the reason why uh, the nurse manager um, didn't like my answers. Um, as you know, I've interviewed three times for the intensive care unit at these very um, prominent hospitals. I mean, these are all magnet hospitals, which is hospitals that have gotten the best rating for a nurse to work at, um, and there's only 6% of them in the whole country. So they're really top-notch hospitals, and they interviewed me, one interviewed me twice, and then one interviewed me once with a whole bunch of nursing managers. And I didn't get past that interview stage, and I was so bummed about that. Um, so I've changed my strategy. I'm starting to look for more jobs elsewhere, um, and I'm changing my strategy. I did find this great book, though, and it told me the reason what the nurses' managers wanted. What I said in the interview when I was giving my answers to situational questions was that Oh yeah, I'm very smart, and I know this, and you know, I, you know, I can talk to you about hemodynamic parameters and the central venous catheter and internal jugular catheter and the A-line, PICK line, all that stuff. I know all that stuff. Nurse managers don't care. I mean, they do, but they know that you're smart. It's like 
The difference between a cover letter and a resume. You don't want to rehash what you have on your cover letter um, based on what you have on your resume. The manager doesn't want to look at both. She wants to know the human side of you through your cover letter, but the resume will talk to you, talk to them about what you know, things that you've done, but you don't have to say the same thing twice. So when I'm interviewing and they're asking me a situational question, they just want to know, here it is, ding ding ding, that you're a safe nurse. I mean, they already know that you're smart, you've gotten your RN license, you've worked hard for it, you've gone through school. Um, everybody knows, I mean, not the general public doesn't know, but you and I know that um, like get, doing two years of prerequisites, trying to get into those impacted classes, keeping your grades up, um, doing a full-time um, nurse curriculum, maybe doing little jobs on the side. You did all that work for years to become an RN, okay? Me, like 20, it's been 15 years I was working as an LVN, getting myself through undergrad to finally just get my RN finally. and. You know, I looked down at RNs before because I thought, well, I, I know the same thing they know. No, they know so much more and they're trained to be very competitive, which is why nurses are the most trusted profession. Because we are trained, we are highly trained, okay? These are the new nurses. These are the nurses I have to compete with and you have to compete with too. So, um, nurse managers know that you're smart. They want to know that you're safe. They, this is what they want. You li listen, this is what they want. Based on this book, I haven't found any other books like it, but this was um, through the perspective of an actual nurse manager. They want you to know that you're safe by when they ask you a question, like how are you going to take care of an emergency patient, whatever situation that is. You have to go in there, assess on your own, determine the situation, do ad pie, um, uh, call for help, because you can't do it alone, and then anticipate what is needed. Be prepared. You know, evaluate the situation. Make an assessment, diagnosis, plan, intervention, and evaluate. Um, get all your supplies ready, and to take care of this patient in case there's an emergency. And notify the provider. So you've got all those four things, and you have to be able to say those things. And that's what I'm going to be practicing on next time I get interviewed, because I know I'm going to get interviewed. I'm mean, going to get a little bit buzz. I ain't mean, sad that like. I let those interviews go, but that's because I'm thinking that it's my fault. It's not my fault. I didn't know, you know. There's there's so many high quality nurses out there, and they said that my profile was fantastic, my demeanor was great, I seemed really friendly, they really wanted me to work there, but I just didn't say the right things. And it sucks that that was the only thing, that that's how close it is for you to get a job over me, is that you just say the right things. And I don't think that's right. I think. You know, like you have to, there's more than one um, variability to having a good nurse. So um, I'm telling you this, my lovely viewers, um, because I want you to have the edge. I don't want you to have to deal with rejection like I did, you know. So hopefully if this anybody listens and hears this, um, it can help them. So yeah, um, I'm still hopefully looking to the future. And um, in a couple of years, I'll be a nurse practitioner. I've, we're already learning in, pharmaco, in pharmacology how to write a prescription, so I mean, just that's amazing to me. I never would have thought about myself as that, as like a, as a Navy hospital corpsman when I was like 19. I never imagined that I'd be writing prescriptions. And now I'm, it's just so weird, it's just otherworldly, so yeah. Um, that's for the other videos. I'll put more informational videos. And let me know what you guys want. And thank you, thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate you, um, your encouragement. Rita, thank you. Um, I didn't really want to make a big deal of getting my RN but um, until I got a job. But it is something for me to celebrate and to be happy about. Um, so yeah, um, I should be happy where I'm at. And I know I'll get a job. And I know you'll get a job. Um, we just have to keep going and evaluate, you know. Don't, don't go to the wayside and think negatively like um, me thinking that oh well it's because I didn't do this or I didn't do that or I didn't say this or that that's that's not important what's important is that I'm learning each time I go through an interview I'm learning each time so learn each time that's I guess that's the point of today's video um, when I look a couple years from now and I'm looking at this video I hope I'll remember that and I appreciate how hard it is to get where I am and how much harder I have to go. But 
I'm glad that we're doing it together. All right, guys. Talk to you later.